hi you guys welcome back to another one of my ted talks just kidding Ooh, look at what i got <laughs> now i know we're not trick-or-treating but i feel like this is really appropriate i got a box full of candy for all my little guests that come over so spooky season is in you guys anyways but that is not the topic of today's video so i want to take you guys with me to buy books because I remember I tried reading as a kid, but it never worked out because I would read the full page and then forget exactly what happened as soon as I flipped the page. I was never able to read like some people. Like some people would be like, oh my God, that book is so great. I read it and it's amazing. I'll read the book and be like, what the hell just happened? Like, I'm so confused. I don't remember anything. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like imagine a story as I'm reading or something, but reading was always something that was complicated for me growing up i just never was able to read a book and comprehend what was happening because i would be like reading about this whatever that's happening but thinking about like ooh, what should i do like later what should i do later and like i guess that's where like, i get distracted and like my brain just wanders somewhere else and it's my so i have a theory that maybe the reason why that would happen to me was because they were books that I just wasn't 100% interested in. Maybe the books were so boring that I was just kind of like, I'm not reading this. I'm reading this, but I'm not really caring to like invest anything or any imagination to it because it's boring. So I decided, why don't I go to Barnes & Noble and just look around and see what kind of books truly capture my attention that I can see myself being intrigued enough to like try giving reading a shot. Because I really do want to get into reading. Like I, I've always wanted, like there are so many books out there that I'm kind of like oh my god I would love to read that but I always think back of how I was never able to and so I was kind of like oh, I won't but I want to try to get into it because I want to like read a book and like imagine like a, a bomb ass fantasy you know so the books that I'm into are kind of just like fiction fantasy so I like like things like modern day with a twist of magic so like for example like Percy Jackson the vampire diaries twilight and I've never read any of these books, but I'm just giving you a base of what I've like liked. Um, Harry Potter would be a good one, but those books are just too big for me to even sit through. I can't even sit through the movie, let alone the books. Um, I don't know. I just love like, like for example, Beautiful Creatures. That was a good one too. The movie was amazing. I would love to read the book and see like what that gives. But enough with the rambling. Let's get going to Barnes and Noble because I'm so excited to pick up my first book and try to read and try to capture like what is happening and I don't know I like reading books that are fanfic I like reading books that are like fiction but fantasy because I feel like it's an escape to like a fantasy or that I get to imagine I'm kind of like the director you know like I feel like as I'm reading I can like put together like a scenery and just like I am the director of this book and I don't know I'm kind of excited to just like have it be like a little escape and just be like oh my god I need to like read right now give me a second but anyways, enough rambling. Let's get in the car. Let's go. I want to buy my book. Science fiction and fantasy. Hmm. What will I pick? See, you guys, this is my section right here. Fantasy. And we have science fiction over here, which is kind of capturing my attention, actually. So I might look around. Oh my god, you guys. I found a section that's called Young Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy. It's literally everything that I would want. Like, everything in this book is like a fucking fantasy movie. And I am so excited. Oh my god, what am I gonna pick? I really don't know why, but Barbie just looks like so low effort this year. Like, this is 2020 and like I've seen more details in 2016 Barbies. It's just so disappointing. So I decided to go with the Queen's Assassin. I was looking at like reviews on Amazon and they're actually pretty cute. There were a few bad reviews and a few like good ones. There definitely was a lot more good ones, but so far this one just captured my attention out of everything. So I'm gonna give it a shot. You guys, look at how cute. One-liners, don't judge a book by its cover. And all the books are wrapped up. You don't know what you're gonna get. It's only like a little snippet. How fun. You guys, I bought this giant skeleton thingy at Target. They didn't have a bag because it's so big. I had to carry it on my back. I'm currently getting gas and you guys, it is so hot today. Like, I don't even know why I wore this long sleeve black attire. I want to dress for fall, but it's just so hot. It's like impossible to dress for fall. 
Anyways, I bought that big ass like scary monster looking thing and they didn't have a bag to fit it So I had to literally put it on my back and I'm literally walking across this like mall, which is like a ginormous Skull demon looking thing on my back. It was funny though. It matches my outfit, but anyways Kind of getting gas. It's hot. I just want to go home Read my book You guys look at how fun <laughs> is that not so fun? <laughs> You guys, look at what Victoria did. She came over and she spooked up my inside of my house. So we have hella spider webs. My favorite is the spider web on the light. I feel like that just looks so spooky. And then we have a little spiders. I will buy more spiders to add up there. But you guys, how adorable. I love it so much. How spooky. I love this whole thing happening here. Because just like, it's not against the wall like this. It's like just stretched across the wall. Oh, I love how spooky it looks. This is the amount of Halloween that I need. Oh, look, it's on the mirror too, how fun. I also got this little trick-or-treat bowl full of just candy. I mean, we're not gonna have trick-or-treating, but I feel like I put it right here. And that way, like, whenever the guy's done fucking me, he can just, like, walk out and be like, oh, you can have some candy on the way out if you want, you know? Like, I'm really courteous. Like, I'm really generous. And, like, you can have some candy for Halloween on the way out. Like, thanks for fucking me. So they can just grab one and just leave, you know? I'm like, aha, this is your tip, I guess. But this is my favorite thing today. It's called a phone jail. And there's, I think, six slots in there. And I love this because whenever I'm watching movies with my friends, they're always on their phone. Always. And so I bought this little phone jail on Amazon. They're all going to put their phones in there from now on. Because when I'm watching a movie, I want your full focus. And if you're on your phone, it's going to bug me. So... This is gonna come in handy for like quality time. Check it out you guys. Victoria just came by. We added this big ass spider in the corner and we added a bunch more little spiders. Ah, oh, how spooky. I am so spooked out. Ah. Also you guys, I just restocked up my fridge. This is what it looks like all the time. So do you guys see why I get so upset when people literally go like this? And it just ruins that back there when we literally have all these ginormous Coke liter bottles for you to pour some to chase your alcohol with. Like, don't touch my perfectly even, like, like, don't touch it! And I'm kind of sad because I was ordering groceries on Amazon and they didn't have any, like, other water bottles brand. So I kind of have to settle for Arrowhead. I mean, to me... All water tastes the same. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm going to be honest, you guys. All water to me tastes the same. But there are so many people who come into my house and they're like, Ew, you drink Arrowhead? Ew, you drink Aquafina? Ew, you drink this? And I'm like, bitch, it's literally water. Like, it all tastes the same to me. I cannot taste the little metal you're talking about or just any little details that people hate so much. I cannot taste it. So, water is water to me. It it's fucking water and it all tastes the same to me. So, bitch, it's either have the arrowhead water or like die of thirst. Fuck. I have a Halloween party to go to, a costume party. So you're supposed to dress up with something that's relating to the first letter of your first name. So like E, I have to dress up with something with an E. But I said screw that. I want to be a bunny. I'm a I'm a Playboy bunny every year, and you know what? I don't care. I love it. It's cute. I let me be a Playboy bunny every year. I got. Oh my god! I'm so waiting a day. <gasps> I got Athena a squeak toy, and like, um, you guys, Athena does not do toys at all. Like, I try to get her into it, and she just won't. Like, watch. It's like a cute. It's like such a cute toy too. It's this little Starbucks thingy. She just won't care for it at all. Am I getting a reaction from you? <gasps> Are we doing something? <gasps> oh my god, we did something! Oh my god, you caught it! Yes! <gasps> yes! Athena, oh! You know, we had it for a second there. Ah!
No? Okay. You guys, my nipple is literally falling out left and right. I'm trying to like not have it fall off, but I'm a bunny like I am every year, but this time I'm pink. The tights, I'm a little upset about them because they're way, way, way too dark. It looks like I'm wearing black pants. They were supposed to be like sheer hosiery, but they ended up being like so, so dark. Anyways, yeah, Elena's all done. Gag. Wow, I keep forgetting that I have tits. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am about to head out, but I want to do a little OOTD. I don't know, it's like this long trench coat that's like a blazer. I don't know how I feel about the tanned boots though, because I feel like the boots should be dark. But, I mean, I'm not hating it. It's cute, it just isn't ideal. Anyways, that's that, you guys. Ah. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go back to editing some videos for you guys. And then uh, I'm gonna get this video up. So I'm gonna edit this right now, actually, after I say goodbye to you guys. I'm sitting here with Athena. And yeah, it's been a long week, but I hope you guys enjoyed the little vlog, you guys. So, till next time, you'll see me shortly. Isn't that right, Athena? Isn't that right? They'll see us shortly.